What's next for the XRS line? I mean, so far we've already gotten mud racers, drag racers, rocket racers. We got endurance racers on the way. So in the future, we gonna get like some sort of water, maybe like dolphin racers, maybe some sort of Australian outback kangaroo racers. I don't know, but either way, I'm excited for the future. And don't get me wrong though, I would take and prefer cars that actually appeared in the movies over these, but that's a topic for another day. Today though, on the Disney Daka channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the featured new releases from wave two of the Rocket Racing series, of course, being Paul Conrev and Cam Spinner. And this video is very timely because actually just the other day, fellow member of Collector's Link here on YouTube, JS Cars 8, found the third wave of Rocket Racers and he found the new George Newen. So that's really, really exciting. I think he looks awesome. Definitely my favorite Rocket Racer so far. But this video is about Cam and Paul today. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to unbox and review the actual releases, compare them to a couple prototypes I have, and of course the normal releases, and show them in a group shot with all the other previous Rocket Racers. So, long story short, after a long, long break of quarantine, I made my return to the stores and was able to pick these bad boys up. So there is Cam, I found them at Target. You can see the Rocket Racing logo up there on the left. Really nice artwork in my opinion, it does look pretty cool. Some sort of mountain range in the background, it looks like they're on like salt flats. Choking Hazard, Cam Spinner with Blast Wall, and you can Move the tires here to see how the flames spin. That's what the arrow indicates for. On the back here, you can see XRS, Extreme Racing Series. A bunch of different languages. And you can see that McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Barry DePedal, and Paul Conrev are also available. I reviewed the first wave, which included McQueen, Cruz, Barry DePedal, Steve Slick LePage, and a Jackson Storm. I unboxed the entire case and reviewed them all, so I'll link that video in the description and card suggestion pop up if you're interested. But yeah, that's Cam. Here is Paul. I really like the artwork for Paul here. It just looks really clean. Paul Conrev with Blast Wall. Paul Conrev con Mariah, Mariah para romper. I think I kind of pronounced that wrong. Should be Mariah, because double L is a Y. Anyways, you can see here on the back, McQueen, Cruz, Jackson, and Steve. So these two were not on the back of Cam, but they are on Paul. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the packages. I'll be right back with them both opened up. So here is the squad out of the package and they're looking pretty sweet if I do say so myself. And we're just gonna dive right into the review. Obviously no appearance to speak of because they are expanded universe cars. And we're gonna start here with Cam, Cam a Spinner. And so this here on the right side is a prototype. Now these are all made in Vietnam. Obviously Mattel moved production from China to Thailand and Vietnam. Pretty much all non-mainline stuff gets made in Vietnam. And so all the mainline, which means deluxes, two packs, singles, that stuff gets made in Thailand. So this stuff would be non-mainline. So that's Vietnam. Both of these prototypes or both of these are Vietnam, but this here is a prototype. And the major difference you can see is the eyes right there. So one kind of unique characteristic about Vietnam and Thailand too is that they use this like eye shadow and this kind of like black outline there around the eyelid to give it depth and make it look more realistic but they never really used to do that as you can see here this is what it used to look like I mean even if you take like this is a Chinese Paul Conrad you could see that his eyes do not have that but if you were to take you know well you'll see here in a second with the Paul Conrad from 
Vietnam, but they never used to do that. And so a lot of collectors are upset, but this prototype just kind of shows what it could have or would have looked like. And it's also interesting to note here that this cam spinner has those blue eyelids, whereas the single version of him from Thailand has black eyelids and the Fireball Beach version also has those black eyelids. So it's kind of strange that they corrected it for the Rock Eraser version. But yeah, that's the major difference. This also does have a date stamp here. So you can just see made in Vietnam, blah, blah, blah. And then here you can see that date stamp smack dab in the middle. The rivets are also quite a bit different there. But yeah, those are the major differences. The decals are pretty much the same. If we zoom out here, you can see that they're colored the same and all that. But I really do like the design here on Cam Spinner. Of course, you can see the XRS logo there in its rocket format, and that's why it's kind of got that motion blur. You can see the leaf here for Triple Dent, his sponsor. Then XRS slash CS for Cam Spinner. Got that light blue bumper. The vents. The next-gen tires, but different rims now instead of having the spoked rims. Now they're kind of like, or the wheels are all filled. And they have that blue center, which looks really nice. XRS again, you have a couple of the cleanliness sparkles or stars there to refer to Triple Dent. And you got the leaf kind of carved out there, 31. Piston Cup Combustor Carbon Cyber and Synergy for the contingency sponsors. 31 on the roof, kind of a blue metallic paint that you can sparkle or you can see sparkle there. It looks really good, actually. I like it a lot. Triple Dent is only mentioned there on the kind of spoiler, this centerpiece thing here. It's very hard to see, but dent is clear, triples in white, so it's a little difficult to see. Also with the windows, you can see that they're all bolted in because you're going at high speeds and the windows could break or just kind of fly off if they're not secured properly. Now, I don't quite know what this is here. That little decal there, it looks super blurry. I don't know if it's supposed to say something. I think it is, but I have no idea what it's supposed to say there. Maybe it's just a design, but it looks weird. Now in the back you have 31 and XRS slash CS. Of course you have these little extenders here to make it more aerodynamic. And then of course the flames, which you'll see here, they spin as you move, which are really cool actually. It's a really nice feature for playability. Although I'd say, I don't know, the drag racers had a pretty cool feature with the moving pistons. The mud racers had that suspension. I don't know, which feature do you guys think was the best? It's tough for me. I'd probably go with the pistons. Actually, no, I don't know. I like the suspension a lot because it actually has kind of more of a practical purpose, whereas this is just more for show, but it still looks really cool. Both of the versions did that. You can see that they quiet made it a little more quiet from the prototype to the actual release. So yeah, just taking a closer look here at the prototype, all the same decals. Decals might look actually a little clearer on the prototype. Yeah, probably a little bit. If you look at the contingency sponsors, that's interesting. Trying to look for some other differences here, but I can't really spot anything. Maybe the color is slightly different there in the back. Cool stuff, cool stuff. I was very fortunate to be able to obtain these prototypes. And although they aren't that much different, it's still nice to have. And taking a look real quick at the blast wall slash pit stop barrier, because that's what they used to be called when they came out like with the Lightning McQueen ones in the movie moment series in 2016. But yeah, 31 XRS. And then the checkerboard pattern there in light blue and white. Looking really sweet. Awesome. Oh, might as well compare the regular version of Cam here a little bit as well, even though they're quite a bit different. Different expressions, entirely different decals, made in different countries, different rims. Very insanely different. Different spoilers and all that. Wow. It's wild. So this is the second Expanded Universe cam spinner we've gotten because the first one was the Fireball Beach one, which was exclusive to a four pack, exclusive to Target. Which version of cam is your favorite? 
I really like the Fireball Beach version because it's made in China and it just looks cleaner to me, but the Thailand version is pretty nice too. Can't complain. There is a Chinese version of Cam Spinner as well that's regular, so I shouldn't uh, cast any doubt or shadow upon that because there is, it was included in a multi-pack. Anyway, moving now on to Paul Conrev. So right off the bat here, you can see that eyeshadow so clearly because it's that black on white, whereas with the prototype, you don't see it at all. Which looks better. I feel like the eyeshadow looks pretty good here for Paul Conrev, but for Cam, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But I think it does actually look really, really good here for Paul. But anyway, also, this guy's got a red hood, which looks really cool. Just how they blocked it all off and didn't put any detail in there because sometimes simplicity is simply better. Simply simplicity. XRS, XRS slash PC for Paul Conrad. XRS, 90, Synergy Carbon Cyber Combustor Pissing Cup. So they still include a lot of the design from Paul with the bumper save brand in there with all the boxes kind of flowing around there. So that looks really cool how they incorporated that. You also have a red text there on the tires for Lightyear and the red rims, which is really cool to see that they actually colored the text for Lightyear because you just don't see that really on the regular. You don't see it at all on regular next gens, but in the XRS line, they did that. So I think that's really cool. Same thing with the little center hubcap. So you can see XRS slash PC again on the spoiler bumper save. Very small, but it's there. So yeah, I guess that was just a decal right there. You can see it again, the red. I don't know. They look like banners or flags to me. Hard to say what it is, but it's interesting. On the back there, 90 XRS slash PC. Flames work fantastically. Although, I don't know. That looks a little weird. It's a little off kilter. Here's the prototype. So it looks like the white's a little bit purer on the finished version. It's a little dirtier on the prototype. Eyes are obviously different. No date stamp, date stamp. So how you guys been doing lately? Hanging in there. Hopefully been able to get out a little bit more as things get better out there in the world. I have been to, I think, two stores. I went to Meyer and Target. Picked these up at Target. Didn't find Jack Squad at Meyer though. Meyer was so bad. It was so bad. Here's the pit stop barrier slash blast wall. 90 XRS, you have blue and white checkered there. Not a huge fan of this pit stop berry. I don't like how the black, I feel like that blue isn't really the correct color either. I feel like it, yeah, it doesn't really match. Cam spinners just looked a little bit more appealing to me. But that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's a little comparison with the regular Paul Conrad from China. And you also have the Fireball Beach version again for Paul. So Paul and Cam Spinner have been released in the exact same format so far. It's pretty cool. We'll see if that continues in the future. Maybe it'll become a pattern. Maybe they'll both get released in some more of their like, XRS series. We'll see. But yeah, guys, let me know your favorite Rocket Racer in the comments a section below. I know I've had this video on the schedule for a long time. And then, of course, I got rid of the schedule, which I'll explain a little bit more in a second here. Because I got a lot of questions, a lot of people like saying, what are you doing? You're canceling all the videos. And for one, I'm not canceling really any videos. I just can't commit myself to that strict of a schedule where you guys would expect to see a video. Like if I schedule something... You expect me to do a video, you know, on that day at that time. And I just simply can't do that anymore with my other jobs. I mean, I work a 9.30 to 3.30 internship, like four days a week. And then I also work at the country club Friday through Sunday. So it's a lot. Like I'm working like 56 hours a week, which is a third of the entire week. And so then I also have to try and make some videos on top of that. 
And it's not really a chore. Like I say, I have to, I don't have to, but you know, I like doing these videos. So I try and find room to do them. But yeah, basically my gist is that I can't like commit myself to that because then you guys would be disappointed when I don't follow through. So I'm just going to kind of do videos uh, on whims and whenever I can. So there'll be surprises, I guess. And yeah, this video has been in the making for a while and I finally was able to get extras to open up. And I think, yeah, it was pretty nice to be able to compare them to those prototypes. So I'll see you guys soon for another video. Pretty sure it's going to be of this custom Emma. So if you stay to the end of the video, you get a little sneak peek. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.